everyone welcome back to another episode of house of ashes um so we're just straight gonna continue <laughs> now can we finally read this paper is it the same one subject urgent results needed no it's not the same one i think acting ceo of rachel king confidential with the survey group becoming operational today it is imperative to stress the need for mission success one, our military operations need a clear and compelling end state. U.S. forces have been engaged to end the threat to the international community from Iraqi WMD. Until we prove that threat, we cannot rightly justify the invasion under international law. With the cessation of hostilities, the risk of the regime destroying evidence of WMD is heightened. The survey group needs to move quickly to identify and exploit WMD sites and personnel. Our allies in the international community need reassurance that our intelligence services are sound. We look forward to your report. Signature Simon Fuller, SG Operations, Head Director of Human Intelligence, DIA. DIA, what's, what does that stand for? Confidential and Personnel. Nothing on the back side. Okay. Please give me enough time to actually explore. Please. I beg of you, game. Something here. Bombs? Oh, I know so little about weapons, guys. <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh at me. It's problematic that. <laughs> That's what I think it is. Yeah, what is it? WP Please tell shirt. me. White phosphorus. It's just for pop and smoke. That's all. Okay. Uh, well, sure. Let's take them. These are I want anything I can color. get. Understood. Understood. Rational went up Don even more. Who's breaking weapons conventions? Not us. I just want to get all the help that we can get. <laughs> but so she said that in five minutes it would be ready. The data downloading. So does that mean it will actually take five minutes? Like, do I have five minutes now? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there's something else. Here. Expected to be placed under Iraqi control in 2007. Under provisions Iraqi control. Does this place, I think I saw somewhere 2003, maybe? Oh, yeah, sure. Let's talk for a sec. You think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know. I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. Why is he coming? If shit hits the fan, at least we can rely on air support to dig us out. I'm sure it won't come down to that. You seem confident. You seem surprised. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the paper I think we were reading before. Maybe. Survey group objectives. Two direction... Directorate of Central Intelligence. Directorate of Central Intelligence. The objectives of the survey group are as stated. One, organize and direct intelligence cap uh, capabil capabilities. There you go. <laughs> Across coalition government agencies and armed forces. US, UK, Australia. Apply intelligence expertise to discover, capture, and exploit information on individuals, facilities, and operations relative to weapons of mass destruction. Oh, WMD. Weapons of mass destruction. There you go. Organize and direct war operations to survey and exploit WMD sites within Iraq. The survey group reports direct to CENTCOM and the Director of Central Intelligence. Operational findings in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom, OIF, to be published quarterly from 6 1 2003. Yeah, okay, 2003, there we go. I feel in such a rush now, I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. Hmm. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. I hate that guy. I really don't like him. Uh, let's be relaxed about it, please. Let's not... We need to work together as a team. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. Jesus. You seem pretty confident. So intense. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. 
sure I'll manage, Colonel. Jesus. What a lovely guy. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. <laughs> oh no, so we did have five minutes. Frank! I'm sure there were still things to do. I hate this. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. <sighs> Why did they implement what? this? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. <laughs> what do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind? You're one to talk. Like everyone keeps saying that you have something else on your mind. <laughs> Salam Atman, uh, stubborn courageous. He's from Ground Forces, I think I saw. Seems like we have so many characters. I'm still confused, like how many we're gonna have in total. Zen, and a gate. Zen. Find Zane, search Zane's room. But first, let's find the secrets. <laughs> Highgate. Highgate University Shield, Mr. Zane Ottman, Badara Mandali Kut, Iraq. March 3rd, 2003, application number. Dear Zane, the board has approved your application for admission to Highgate University to read mythology bachelors in academic year 2003-2004, which commences on September 2nd, 2003. This offers conditional upon your agreement to fulfill the following requirements. Failing which the university will deregister uh, you from... Failing which? Okay. The university will deregister you from the course of study offered. A. Completion of your college studies to the projected AAB standard of grades. B. Obtaining a student's visa from the UK Home Office. We understand that the current world events may create complications for your visa application and relocation to the United Kingdom. I assure you that the faculty will assist in and support your visa, a visa application in every way. For over 120 years, Highgate University has helped talented young individuals from all walks of life achieve personal success, allowing them to thrive in the educational and professional world. We look forward to embarking on your own journey to success. Sincerely, Andrew McAllister, Director of Admissions. You achieved something that nobody in this family has before. I'm so proud of you, Zane. Now go back that great. Love always, Dad. Okay. So are they brothers then? Something there. Let's just make sure we're not missing anything else. Oh, there you go. Happy birthday, Zane. Go oh. Is he the dad? But he doesn't seem that old. Happy birthday, Zane. My boy's becoming a man. Love always dad. Hmm. I mean, he brought the presents, so you'd think that he would be dad then. We haven't found that many pictures. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> I don't think there's a picture there. <laughs> Oh, they don't like her? They cut her out? Pull her out? Divorce, maybe? Okay. Oh, there's stuff over there. Let's see first if there's more here. No, can't do anything with the door. I mean, gotta check, because last time I thought I could do nothing with the door and I could. <laughs> Controls are a little bit slow, like if I want to turn the camera. Zane? Go check the other door. Oh, freak. Thought he would be in there. No! Let me explore the other room! Okay, he's not here. Let me explore the other room. There you go. 
<laughs> Thank God. Maybe there's nothing here though. Difficult to see if there's things to interact with. Like they're very close quarters. And because this time we don't have a fixed angle, you can actually get a little bit lost. Okay, but for sure there's stuff here. Mesopotamian mythology. Okay, that's what he wanted to study, right? Ancient Mesopotamian mythology, Dr. Shauki Amanat. I'm probably butchering all the names. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> it's not on purpose. Ooh, okay. The heavens were no place. <laughs> I mean, it's not necessarily fairy tales. It's part of culture, right? The heavens are no place for mortals. The Sumer uh, Sumerians believed that the sky was formed of a configuration of domes, each honed from a different precious stone. The outermost dome embodied An, the god of the sky. The middle dome was home of the gods of heaven, and the lowermost dome was the abode of the stars. The number of domes varied between three and seven. The number seven itself had magical properties, okay, and recurs frequently throughout Mesopotamian myth. Seven demons, seven thrones, seven spirits, and the seven gates of the underworld. So maybe we'll have seven characters then? To the Sumerians, the stars and planets each had their own uh, deities. Utu was the sun, Nana, later altered to Suun or Sin, was the moon, Nurgle was ascribed to Mars, Nabu to Mercury, uh, Marduk to Jupiter, Inanna to Venus, and Ninurta to Saturn. The heavens were truly the abode of the divine, and the earth below was given to humans. No soul could travel upwards in this worldview, instead they were confined to their earthly domain, even in death. It is no wonder that the Sumerians were among the world's first astronomers. They charted the positions of stars, identified planets, and plotted the movements of constellations. Although surviving records from the periods are incomplete, it's now widely believed that the discoveries of Mesopotamian astronomy were passed onto the Western world and formed the base of the classical Grecian sky maps. Interesting. Oh, House of Ashes, Vengeful Ghosts, oh, and Demons, oops, my bad, are underlined. That's interesting. Demons, that's great. <laughs> Let's see, Chapter 6, the Ancient Mesopotamian Underworld. Oh. In ancient belief, the world has made uh, was made of earth, sea, and sky, and enclosed in a box of imperishable tin. The underworld, known as Kur on the House of Ashes, was where people went when they died. Souls are led to a cavern deep underground where they endured a shadowed existence. Here, the only drink was dust and the only food was clay. There was no light, only darkness. There were no rewards or punishments for deeds done in life. Instead, a soul's comfort was determined by their burial. As the dead were often buried under or near the home, daily sacrifice of food and drink were made to the spirits of the departed. Family members who poured wine into a dead person's grave would quench their thirst in the house of ashes. The message to the living was to live well, be buried richly, and have many descendants who would supply food and drink. Oh, I see, in the afterlife for years to come. The dead could return to the earth as ghosts to punish those descendants who did not leave offerings of food and drink to them. I see. Vengeful ghosts could inflict misfortune and sickness on the living, and maladies such as headaches, stomach pains, fever, and mental disorders could attribute to ghosts. Mesopotamian healers ascribe many illnesses to the action of ghosts, while others were caused by gods or demons. Oh, okay, interesting. So you really had to take care of the disease, I guess. Oh, there's something here. What is it? Oh, oh no! I saw the continue button too late. Whoops! Hopefully there wasn't anything else. Be a I, I can't do anything. Oh. Yeah, okay. What is it? I didn't recognize any of the things in the box. Hello. Uh, hello, Anna Salim. Salim. Salim Garkun. Abu Zain. I forgot. هو زين مع مع هو زين مع ابنك. طارق. ايوه. طارق. You forgot the name. راحوا ياخذوا الاتوبيس بقى لهم ساعة. كلهم خير؟ ااا Let's be restrained. I mean, I wouldn't tell my neighbor Amelia what's going on. He doesn't seem to have a great connection with her if he doesn't know the son's name. 
لما يرجع ابعتهولي حالا ما اقدرش اقوله امتى هيجوا انت عارف الولاد اي وقت ابعتهولي لو سمحتي Oh, he stole some things. Okay, interesting. I'm so confused as to what's going on, guys. <laughs> Captain Basri, Ahlan. I'm Liz. Let's not talk about it. Don't do this, Abdi. The Ado guy is here. The Ado guy is here now. At the moment, the Ado. يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلص معنى كلام فارغ محدش السلم عدو جاي ودي ارضنا واحنا لازم نتعرب ليها His eyebrows are clipping a little bit with his head Did you guys see that? شوف جايين علينا بقول لك احنا محتاجين كل راجل في مكانه لاحسن طايرتهم توصل عندنا اه يا اوكي يا وي لايك وي ار نوت غانا فايند اور سون ان تايم and I've never been in the army, but I don't feel like the army is a place where you can say no. <laughs> He's not gonna let us. If we say like, oh, I need to find my son. He's just gonna be like, no. Right? I think. We saw this in a little trailer teaser. In Little Hope. Oh, interesting. Get face on, boys. We're coming in fast. Hey, Marwin, what's your mama and the Bermuda Triangle having come? <laughs> Why are you fucking it like? <laughs> they both swallow Marines. That's pretty good, boy. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Your mom is so nasty. I called her for phone sex, and I got a fucking ear infection. <laughs> well, damn. How long you been sitting on that one? Oh, yeah, you like that? I got a shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. <laughs> yeah, that's what your mama said. You two want to cut the bullshit and focus on the mission? <laughs> hey, only one place I let a woman boss be around like that, all right? That's between the sheets. Highly doubted. Your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Yeah, Rachel. <laughs> hey, <laughs> fuck y'all laughing at. And that was funny. Come on, you can make mama jokes with Chikan. You to establish contact with the black CP on four-hour intervals. Sergeant K, are you with me? Yeah, oh, great. Contact CP every four hours. Uh, all good. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm straight. What's going on in there? Just some shit I gotta work through, man. It's all good. I'm chill. Uh. Well, what's up? So tell me what's up. Remember, I told you I had something with uh, one of the Johns on base. Shit, Nikki, that's about a girl. <laughs> Never did tell me who was. Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> he actually told me. him. Holy shit, Marine! Uh. You gotta keep a lid on that with the colonel around. You hear? Five by five, sir. This is gonna cause some drama. Semper Fi. Semper Fi? What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. Hmm. So what? It's supposed to be lucky. Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. Oh. That's gotta be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah. Well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Yeah, exactly. I completely get it. If you're so close to death all the time, you know, you want to do everything you can to make sure you won't die. Sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're gonna succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! Hoorah! Oh. 
I have a feeling I'm gonna have them all die. <laughs> Whoops. What's the neck? <laughs> oh god. I'm not made for war! Don't get me into war, please! I'm not made for it! <laughs> hey, Joey! How the fuck did you have to go and do that? Oh, <laughs> that's so sad. He oh, that's really mean. That's really mean. Oh, he made him look back. And now we're all doomed. Obviously, now we're all doomed. <laughs> Who is that? The American. The American go. Sir, we've been made. Awaiting orders. Uh, fan out and hold fire. Fan out and hold fire. We're gonna sigh out to this shit. Probably stupid decision. I know nothing about fighting, guys. Don't put me into this position. But, like, he was a shepherd. I don't want to kill the shepherd. Down! Down! On your face! Hands behind your back! Oh, he's going first, Joey. Wow. Look at you go. Yeah, I'm ready for some cuties. Compound is secure. Prisoners are playing ball. Roger. Get Corporal Merwin to pop yellow smoke at the LC and bring in the Colonel. I have a hard time pronouncing it, but why do they say, like, Colonel and not, like, Colonel? These people are not the enemy. They're just shepherds. I mean, that's a little bit of a giveaway. My bad, because the subtitles say check. Shepherd. Say <laughs> so that's my bad. Sorry. <laughs> no casualties. Form secure and we're processing captives. Captives? Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one. What does that mean, Lieutenant? Hmm. I mean, we'll find it, sir. Don't worry. We have yet to carry out a full search. We'll find it, sir. You took a risk giving up the element of surprise, Lieutenant. But it looks like it paid off. No casualties and clean work. He Thank likes you, us. He you likes us. us. Jason is cool. Now be on high alert. My team's ready for anything, Colonel. I mean, it might be on high alert either way, Thank right? You. Got the place locked down tighter than a virgin. Do not finish that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Are they ready for questioning? Yeah, just don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. Stay sharp. If anyone so much as raises an eyebrow, I want to know about it. Copy that. I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh, yeah? You too. Is that this, uh, women's intuition I keep hearing about? I wouldn't mind if he dies, yeah, guys. find out what happens when you piss it off? Maybe we'll just let him die on purpose. <laughs> Stay still. I'm just gonna pat you down. I'm ready for anything they throw at me. Got my hands on the buttons. Assalamu alaikum, ya akhi. Lazim asal al sual, wa lazim tuqul al haqiqa. Tain, madkhal maghzan al silah. Hmm. I'll say nothing. I don't know. Why say something right now? Hasalak marra tanya. Do we gotta pull the lever? <laughs> Some kind of effigy. Ooh, Possibly that doesn't bode well. Ada. 
هتعرفوا قريب نو ثانك يو وات ذا وات ذا فاك مي ما دونت تيك ات داون Secret found. Ooh, ooh. Let's see. A pagan effigy with a sharp bar appearing inside it. Oh. Okay, so that's why he got cut. We also have this one. This book describes the Sumerian underworld, which is referred to as the House of Ashes. Yeah. I've had enough of this. Corporal, keep an eye on the captives. You heard him, Marine. Interrogate the shepherds, search the farm. I don't have a light. Can't really talk to them either. But how am I supposed to interrogate them if I can't talk to them? Okay, well. Guess we'll move on. Anything here? Can I? No. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I don't feel like this is going to smooth this, guys. <laughs> My bad. This man was armed, ma'am. Everyone in this country is armed. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> yeah, I'll hit him. Come on. That's my boss. You don't talk to her like that. Stand down, Lieutenant. Oh, she didn't like that. These people understand. My bad. This under control. I just wanted to be there for you. Oh, I meant well. Yeah, in the other hood. Follow me. Keep a firm eye on this one. Who is constantly whistling? Anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Went the other way. I think this is where he came from, right? Yeah. Okay. What? Okay. There you go. Let's see. Can I talk to you? Yeah, I, I can. There you go. You do down on us. I don't believe in curses, the Tooth Fairy, or Santa Claus. The Tooth Fairy, yeah. But Santa? Say it ain't so. <laughs> you truly fucked up Christmas, man. <laughs> Wait, did I see something there? No. Anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, the music is so ominous right now. Can I do anything with you? No. Yeah, let's talk to him then. There's shit here. You got something to say, Sergeant? Look at the ground. What do you see? Jack shit. There was a silo, where's all the tracks? Nah. Man, this is a fishing expedition. His precious Kalis has got it all wrong. We follow all Highly doubt it. The search is far from over. Aye, sir. Yeah, let's go in then. Oh, was this a room? Yep. Ooh, something here. Oh, why would shepherds have this? Yeah, why would they have this? Secret found. A vintage gas mask splattered with black stains. Oh, well, that sounds great. I don't know. My senses are telling me they might not be just shepherds. أنا بشخص الحكومة الأمريكية. أنت في موقف صعب جدا. مهم إنك تقول الحقيقة. فين مدخل المغزى؟ <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm at a rug. <laughs> Such an age old thing to do, guys. Huh. It's not. 
There is stuff on there. That chair one. Oh. It just keeps getting better by the minute. These but why would shepherds have? Crooks. What the fuck was Eric thinking? Harry. I want this place turned inside out. Oh. 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 Oh shit, is he already gonna die? Uh, Did I already make bad decisions? Oh shit. Fuck. Down, get down. Okay. They're up on the ridge! Return fire! Go! Oh shit, I don't see them. I did hit something though, right? Because the crosshair got red. <laughs> that was fucking close. Oh, one of our guys got hit. Joey, right? Rachel! Where are you? Rachel! Back! Stay back! A double! I'm ready to shoot them. I don't want to shoot the dad though. That seems sad. What a shit. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> Jeez. Fuck your dog in like ticks. We're closing in. We gotta get to Joe. Yeah, we gotta save him. Yeah, fuck you too! Ah! <laughs> there you go, that's one of them. Let's burn fuckers out with WB! You can't use phosphorus against people! Oh, come on, you rather us hold hands and sing kumbaya around the fucking campfire? Shut the fuck up for a second and let me. Oh think. god. What's the thing about, huh? We're getting massacred! Permission to use WB! Uh, uh, let's not, because I might kill Joey. Only use it for smoke. I don't want to kill Joey. Like Give me some cover and get Joey out of there. I don't know, like, how much that... Ooh! Spreads. Okay. Oh, did I get him? I don't think so. That kind of took me off guard. There we go. That's one of them. Wow! Look at you go! Holy shit! Okay! Woo! I'm fucking dying, Nick. No, you're not. Bullshit. I know you're hurting, but you're not fucking. Yeah, no, you're not. We're gonna save you. Calm down. Flesh when it's a paper cut. It's a mere flesh wound. <laughs> still. I don't want him to die. Oh no, he's dying. Oh no, I don't. Oh my god. How did I lose one already? How did I lose a guy already? What decisions did I make that made me lose a guy already? Aww. What are you waiting for? Spread out and fight back! God damn it. Oh, that makes me feel oh, so oh, sad. Oh, I really like it. Joey. Can someone give me what a did I do wrong? Oh, Killjoy till we are under fire and going down! Targets have advanced into the LZ! This is getting worse. Was it because I requested air support? Oh. We're on top of it. Get down on the floor, I swear I'll put a fucking hole through you. No, I'm not gonna shoot him. I'm not gonna shoot him. No. Look at him. He's like stumbling. No. Fuck. Doesn't anyone speak English? <laughs> I mean, you're not an English country. Oh, that had some effect though. Oh. Not miss. Oh, but it's a dad. Come on, don't do it. Maybe he would have if he saw me shoot him. 
But he saw that I didn't shoot the guy, so he didn't either. Maybe? Oh god. I think we're all going in! <laughs> I think we're all going in! I think I saw something uh, in the description about us having to work with our enemies. So I guess we're all going down! We're all going in! It's in the mouth! <gasps> oh! Okay, wow! I don't think the shepherds knew about this. Okay. Guys, I think we're going to end the second episode on that lovely cliffhanger. <laughs> I am very into this right now. I feel so sad that we lost Joey. I, he was obviously the most like likable character. I don't know what I did to lose him, to be honest. Um, and I feel really sad about it, but <laughs> okay. Let's see how many other people are going to die. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Won't you spare me over to another year?